Hello, I'm Adelaide Demoa with The Greenwich Show. I'm here at the Queen's House for an event called The House, which is actually the opening night for the Greenwich and Docklands International Festival. Now in its 21st year, the GDIF is a series of events running from the 24th of June to the 2nd of July, covering everything from circus, theatre, music, dance, street games, cabaret, live art, puppetry and even architecture. The festival is held in venues across Greenwich, Woolwich, Eltham, Canary Wharf and a number of other areas in London. Tonight's event is a stage performance celebrating the Queen's House, which is now 400 years old. The show includes elaborate costumes, singing, light shows and pyrotechnics, performed to music and narration. The set was designed over the last two months by Rebecca Brower and we were lucky enough to have a quick chat with her. My name's Rebecca Brower, I'm the scenic designer and the costume designer for the house. Uh, so I've been working alongside Bradley, Bradley Hemmings, the director, and the team to put this show together for you tonight. So we've got 20 dancers who take you through a story. I don't want to give too much away. So their costumes obviously kind of help tell that story along with them. And then we've got a bit of a, a surprise hidden within the costumes when you get to the end. Um, and also I've been designing Sharon D. Clark's costumes as well, who will be performing in the show. She as well has a very interesting costume change that I won't go too much into but it's a nice surprise for the audience. That's interesting. Um, so I've been doing that and then set wise we've got a lovely platform that we use that we bring Sharon on during the show um, and we've got lovely Oliver our lovely 10 year old actor, <laughs> 9 10 year old actor <laughs> who will be playing our 1940s Blitz um, refugee who comes into the house as well. Uh, we've got some kind of boulders and fun set pieces around that kind of help tell the story. Wow. So, yeah. How long has the whole process taken? Um, normally for a show like this it's probably, well probably longer for the producers, but, but for me I started talking to Bradley about it about two months ago, because okay. uh, we wanted to get all the story kind of nailed down so we could start thinking about costumes so we can get them made properly and exactly what we need for the show. Um, and then it's only been the last two weeks that we start bringing them all in, fit them on the, um, on the cast and on the dancers and start seeing them come to life. Really. Amazing. Yeah. Really exciting, Good. really looking forward to seeing the show. Yeah, very much. I'm looking forward to seeing what the audience think about it. That's what makes the shows for us and that's why we do it. So, yeah. Yeah. So I you. hope you enjoy it. I'm sure you will. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we love the festival. We come every year. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Every year. Yes. Every year. There's something for everybody and uh, there's always something spectacular like what we've just seen yeah. today. There's lots more to come that we're looking forward to. Great. Yeah. The fireworks were just yeah. amazing. <laughs> but the dancing and the little boy dancing, I, it was just, there was so many details to follow. And yeah. just the lights and the projection on the building and the way they drew, and it's just amazing. It was so beautiful and just like kind of, especially the, today's result, it was like the, talking about the tolerance and the openness of, yeah. of, the, of the city. Crossing borders. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Was, uh, really relevant. Uh, really really yeah. really. I hope that's given you a little taste of the Greenwich and Docklands International Festival. Last year saw over 100,000 visitors and we're really looking forward to what's going to take place over the next eight days.